Tennessee. 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 So what happened on February 9th after we went from 2003, really 2001 to 2008, February 9th, uh, with no incidents at the facility. And it, it was on in a residential area, but it was a, a busy street, it was not uh, in a remote area. So people have <coughs> passed it by many times on many occasions and never had any trouble of any sort. So it really was a shock, I think, for all of us to get that call on February 9th at 5 in the morning. And we gathered in front of the building and it was just engulfed with fire. The roof was on fire, it was collapsing. Uh, it was pretty obvious that there was no saving to it. Before they burned the building down, they spray painted a swastika on the front of the building. And on the side, they put uh, white power, we run the world, and two swastikas. They um, used, I believe, three firebombs in the building, in three corners, and uh, set the place on fire. Later on, we learned that they've made comments in their interrogation that they had planned this for a week, in advance and that they thought what was taking place in there was illegal according to the Bible. The community in Nashville decided to meet with the local authorities to make sure that nothing like this occurs because of copycats and, and so forth. We had a group of about a uh, hundred individuals and what was unique about that is there was a, a, a good percent of those present non-Muslim. We collected a little over $18,000. The Hispanic community and churches were present, the city, the Chamber of Commerce, Murray Alliance, um, the black community, the African American community was represented in churches, um, the Islamic community here and in Huntsville was present. There were checks from uh, people of the Jewish faith, there were checks from Muslims, there were checks from churches, there were checks from individuals uh, who, judging by name, uh, they're not likely, not most likely Muslim. Uh, we appreciate their stand with us in, in saying that this is an assault on everybody, not just on Muslims. We received notes. Um, we we so much appreciate that that we kept some pictures and some articles. We had letters from individuals from interface and interfaith groups um, expressing solidarity with us. We wanted to have an open house and let those who stood by us know that their money uh, and their support did bear fruit and this is the place we have to show for it. When September 11 happened, many in the Christian community and in, in the West faulted mos Muslims for not saying much. What happened here is that a lot of our friends afterwards explained that they were ashamed and they, they didn't know what to say. And they condemned it in their heart, they condemned it in their circles, but didn't know what to say if they did call us. And it didn't mean that they did not support us. 
they just didn't know what to do. And I think that that is also true of so many of the Muslims. And a lot of the people here, even though those three individuals claim to be part of the Christian faith, they didn't see them as Christians. They saw them as misguided Christians at best. And they didn't feel that they had to apologize for them, while others like Bill Williamson and, and um, the rabbis in Nashville and felt that a statement needed, needed to be uh, said. Of course, we're, we're fortunate to have the building and, and we're glad that we're not in the spotlight uh, anymore and that we can go back to um, worshiping, uh, making sure our kids uh, have a, a chance to learn about the good teachings of Islam, to grow up as good citizens. We are part of this community and we want to participate in the progress of this community and in the ailments of this community. We want to be part of the solution. Um, and, and now that we have the construction behind us, uh, we're looking to do that. The, the Columbia Islamic Center we visited uh, with Daoud um, was it was an amazing story. It just kind of shows the best and worst of America. I mean, you had you know this white Christian movement burning down the mosque, and um, and then a white Christian church giving money to help rebuild it, and this Reverend Williamson who gave them a room to pray, offered to take down any symbols that would offend, and gave them a key for 24 hours a day. It was a really, really touching story, and, and the letters they got from all over the country, so that was great. A lot of their comments about terrorism were very profound, especially given the fact that a lot of people always uh, say, you know, where are the moderate Muslims? Why don't people stand up and, and condemn terrorism? And they were saying that, you know, that, that some of the Christians in the community told them, like, they didn't really know what to say. Story also about his son I thought was really, really interesting, that his son goes to school and is harassed by other students and called a terrorist. And this son, his mosque was basically bombed or torched by terrorists. And, uh, and we've heard this from some other people around the country, and I think it's, it's, it's really sad. Ultimately, I, we took this uh, message of hope that they persevered, they stuck with it, and the community really united. So that was, it was a really interesting trip.